Hi, my name's Rick Timmis. Today, Jackson will be taking you through a Sugar CRM tutorial. If you'd like to discover the great features and extensions that our Sugar CRM based ISAM system offers, then visit our website, abazander.com, today, where you can get your own free ISAM Lite system. This is not a time limited trial and there are no credit cards required or other strings attached. Hello and welcome to your second Sugar CRM training video. In this session, we're going to be looking at the concepts of leads, contacts, accounts, and opportunities, and how these modules relate to each other. Understanding what these are in the context of using Sugar CRM will allow you to utilize them effectively to maximize productivity and is central to using Sugar CRM to its full potential. To begin with, let's look at how these relate to the user interface. Upon logging in, we can see all the familiar elements from Sugar CRM training video 1. As we know from before, to access different areas of the system, we can click on any of these buttons up here in a tabs area. Each of these areas are known as modules. The modules that we're going to be talking about here are leads, contacts, accounts, and opportunities. Now, if we click on one of these, for example the leads module, we can see that the layout is very similar to the contacts that we ch touched on in training video 1. And indeed, it functions exactly the same way in terms of interactivity. What we have for each of these modules is essentially a collection of records, each one containing information. What sets these modules apart, and why we're dedicating a video to them, is their relationship to each other and how this can benefit you. These four modules work together in a relationship building system for your business. Let's say that you meet someone at a networking event that you build a good relationship with that isn't yet actively working with you. This person is known as a lead and we can enter their contact details in the leads module, like so. We can see here two important fields particular to this module, lead source and status. If we click on the lead source drop down, we can see a list of options to show where the lead came from. For example, the source of this lead could be an existing customer, someone we met at a conference, through word of mouth, or any other source. If we record this for every lead that we enter, we can see where most of our leads are coming from so that we can repeat the success. The other field we should mention is the status drop down. This shows us what stage the lead is currently at. For example, a lead begins as new, but as we build a relationship with them, they could be changed, for example, to converted if they turn into an actual contact, or if they end up being a dead end, we can reflect that with a dead option. We can also see that the system automatically assigns this lead to the current user, so we can see who made contact with this lead. Once we build enough trust with the lead to actively work with them, they become a contact. Contacts are those people that we are actually doing work with because we have built up the relationship to the point where it can graduate to the next level. We would then enter their details into the contacts module, like so. Again, we can select the lead source to show where this contact came from. Contacts nearly always belong to a larger group, whether that may be a company or an organization of some kind. 
In Sugar CRM, these are known as accounts. So in general, contacts belong to accounts. Creating an account is just the same as for leads and contacts. We simply select the accounts module from the tabs area and then select create account from the shortcuts area. We can assign a contact to an account in the following way. If we go back to the contacts module, and select the contact that we wish to assign to an account. Then click Edit. In the Account Name field, if we start typing the name, then if it already exists in the account module, Sugar CRM will bring up a list of available contacts on the system that fit what we've typed in so far. Opportunities are exactly that, opportunities to make money. We can enter information into the Sugar CRM system in order to determine how viable they are, how far along they are, and how much money we believe they will make us. Entering an opportunities details is exactly the same as for other modules. We simply select the opportunities tab click create opportunity enter their particulars and then click save. Since all opportunities also have a source, they can be assigned to an account to indicate where you were made aware of the opportunity. We can also assign a value to the probability field This is basically a percentage measuring the likelihood of this opportunity being converted into something more valuable. We can set the current status of an opportunity with the sales stage drop down. Along with the next step that we want to take with it. Once you've familiarised yourself with the basic concepts of leads, accounts, contacts and opportunities, it's worth knowing that there are more efficient ways of entering the data. First, let's create a new lead for this purpose. Now we've created a lead and they are in the system. However, what if this person becomes a contact as we build our relationship with them? We could enter them as a new contact as shown in the previous section. However, Sugar CRM provides a quicker solution. Above the contact information are several options, one of which is convert lead. And if we click this, we are presented with the option to review the lead's information and convert them directly into a contact. In this way we don't have to enter any information that already exists for the record and yet we still have the chance to update the information if necessary. Underneath we also have the option to link the contact to an account if they are not assigned to one already. But it goes further than that. If we want to create an account on the screen to assign to the contact we can do that here as well. 
If we check the create account box, we can enter the details for a new account. In the same way, if we need to enter a related opportunity for an appointment, we can do so in the same way. What all this does is enable us to enter all relevant information for a contact in one fell swoop, rather than re-entering information in different modules. Sugar CRM possesses all kinds of shortcuts and time-saving cross-operability in this way, and it will take you some usage before you find the full extent of what it can do. So, to summarise, we have leads that become contacts which belong to accounts. In addition, we have opportunities that also belong to accounts. This concludes the second of our Sugar CRM training videos. We hope you enjoyed learning about the way these elements fit together and look forward to using them to full effect. And remember, to experience great features like Abazanda's dedicated app, iSAM Mobi, providing effortless mobile working wherever you are using your iPhone, iPad or Android device, visit abazanda.com today.